Hello beautiful people. Let's talk about being indebted to somebody. Can you name anyone in your life, whether they're still there or not, who's done something for you that you feel indebted to them for doing? I mean, something life-saving or at least life-changing. I definitely can. My cousin who was there for me all those nights when I couldn't sleep, when I got dumped by my first boyfriend. I'd rip her out of sleep numerous times at like literally two o'clock in the morning via phone calls and she talked to me until I was just too exhausted to continue. She offered to do that for me. My former professor during my undergraduate career who believed in me over everyone else in the class and made me her first ever personal assistant and tried to teach me discipline, independence, and maturity. And of course my parents who are still financially carrying me to independent adulthood. Should we feel indebted to the people who saved us? Yes, but I think the question most of us wonder about is how do we pay them back? It's important to think of these people. Who are the people that changed your life in some way? And think about, reflect on exactly what they've done for you. And I think that's how you can weigh your debt. But a lot of us feel like we must do anything and everything for them because they just don't know how much they mean to us because they saved us at some point or they really changed our lives. But I realize that's not the way to go. It might be nice, it might be perhaps the right thing to do, but it kind of really isn't. The best way to pay someone back who you feel indebted to is to just continue to live and do your best. The reason why kind people help other people is because they want to see other people happy or by succeeding, not for anything in return or at least anything tangible in return. The greatest thing that someone could ever tell you if you help them in an immense way is when they thank you later on for helping them because they're now, you know, insert achievement here. Like, thank you so much for believing in me when I didn't because now I'm a chef and I own my own restaurant. That's the greatest gift to someone you feel indebted to. No amount of monetary gifts or favors can really equate to telling them how good your life is now because of what they did for you. So when someone offers their help, they want you to use it to get yourself ahead. Wait, but what about the people who are still helping you but still make it seem like you owe them? If they're still supporting you in a way that can get you ahead, keep on going with your life. Think about if it's enough for survival. Then just take it. Like for instance, my parents are still supporting me financially. Whether or not they believe in me, because I really think they don't, they're still financially supporting me, which means yes, I'm going to take it. I'm using these resources to get myself ahead. So my original point still stands. This is about you and your life. Use what you have and get, if you do get anything, and just keep moving forward until you no longer need this support. And this is negative support because they're giving something to you, but they're still ridiculing you for it and how you use it. But even with this negative support, it's still some sort of support that can help you get ahead. That's why I just tell everybody who is just feeling so lost in their life to look at what you have, look at the resources around you and be able to adapt to your environment, your situation right now and help yourself get ahead. So being indebted to somebody feels horrible, but the best way to pay them back again is to use what they give to you and have a good life. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here. I'll leave related videos on the screen for you to watch any of them next.